Welcome to the introduction to concussion capsule. My name is Katherine Schneider. I'm a physiotherapist and researcher at the Sport Injury Prevention Research Center at the University of Calgary in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. In this presentation, I will discuss the concepts related to the introductory module of the MOOC. The objectives of the introductory module are to, one, define concussion and traumatic brain injury, and two, describe the objectives of a concussion management protocol. How common are concussions? I think we can all think of someone that we know who has suffered a concussion or who has been affected by concussion. Concussions are also very commonly discussed and debated in the media. There has also been an explosion of research related to concussion in the past few years. Concussions are among the most commonly occurring injuries in sport and recreation related activities. It's been reported that 1.6 to 3.8 million sport related concussions occur each year in the United States. Sport related concussion has also been reported to account for 15% of all injuries that occur in youth sport with the highest numbers occurring in contact and collision sports. So what is a concussion? A concussion is a type of brain injury that is caused by a direct blow to the head or a force transmitted to the head. Before we move into detail about the many aspects related to concussion care, it is important to understand some general concepts related to concussion. That will be the focus of this module. In this module, you will hear from some of the world's leading researchers and clinicians as they share knowledge in key areas related to concussion. You will learn about the definition of concussion, the evolution of concussion in sport consensus statements, the pathophysiology of concussion, the use of baseline testing, and the potential long-term effects of concussion. In the protocol section of this module, you will learn about the objectives of a concussion management protocol. And you're also going to be able to see some examples of successfully implemented concussion management protocols. We hope you enjoy this module rich with information on concussion that will set the stage for you to continue with the subsequent modules.